Welcome back to Shrouding the Light for the Free Space Port here on Paladin Gaming. So it has come to this. My warriors, my brethren, my hands and feet, my eyes and ears, my pilots, my clans, my commanders and my officers, my soldiers of the Parliamentary Vajudan Navy. This is the end. Well, we'll see about that. The Hammer of Light arose shortly after the arrival of the Shivans and the cessation of hostilities between the Terran and Vajudan peoples. They espoused an archaic and radical belief that spoke of implacable hordes, of the unstoppable greatness warriors that came to cleanse the universe and wipe it clean of life. Their cause was one of religious dogma, to do their very best to assist the Shivans in what they believed was their objective, to destroy the Terran and Vajudan races in the hope that it would stand them in good stead when the time came for them to be judged. But when the Lucifer fell, all had changed. The movement was hijacked by those with grudges against the PVE establishment and the Terran race. They changed, subtly, from a cult to a guerrilla organization. And we look upon the Hammer of Light, and we see the path of destruction that they have wrought, and we are appalled and disgusted, and so we should be. But sometimes, I have noticed, we look at them and we laugh. We mock them for beliefs that we find to be blatantly idiotic. Once, it was their belief in the Shivans as the great destroyers. When we defeated the Shivans and drove them out of our homes and systems, we proved that belief to be false. And although ties have been strained recently between the Turans and Vajadans, we have overcome our petty hatreds and prejudices and come together in the name of peace to construct a new way of life without the bloodshed and anger that has marked recent times. And so we have proved them wrong again. And so it is that we laugh. We find them foolish, if not alien, that they could believe in truths so evidently false, so obviously incorrect. So, in our minds, we draw them as monsters or as frothing fanatics blind to the real world. We make them into caricatures, and we dismiss them. They are the hammer of life. They are creatures from another world. But it is this, and not the beliefs of the hammer of light, that are the lies. They are neither monsters nor fanatics. They are not otherworldly, like Turans or Shivans. They are not aliens. Because, in truth, that which gave rise to the hammer of life resides within all of us. Are you about to turn traitor on us, Admiral? <laughs> Very little separates the hammer of life from us. We are both soldiers for causes we believe in. Ah. Ours is one of a united Terran and Vajra Dan people, under the alliance in the Vajra Dan Empire. Theirs is a vision of a Vajra Dan utopia, lacking in alien Terrans and the old elites of a forgotten, outmoded government. Do not deceive yourself into believing that today we go to war to put an end to a vile evil that infects our home and territory. Do not paint the hammer of light as misguided fools who know not what they do. Do not allow yourself these protections. Confront them as they are. Their are dance. Yes, they have done terrible things, but turn to our thousands of years of history, and we are just as black, if not blacker. Yes. They rebel against all lawful authority, but authority is to what everyone submits. Yes, they are the enemy, but they are our blood brothers and sisters nonetheless. They're Vajra Dan. Every kill we inflict is a loss for our side. Every casualty they suffer is an injury inflicted on us. When they are wounded, we bleed. Take no joy in this, the destruction of the Hammer of Life. Consider this, instead, in the spirit of an amputation. We cut out that which will not survive, that which is anathema to the rest of the body, and leave it to die, in the hope of sparing the greater masses. And so it is today. Do not condemn the hammer of light, for they follow only that in which they believe. Warn them, that they must die for order to be restored and peace to reign. Alrighty! A philosopher admiral. Let's, uh, let's continue. The Hammer Falls. Greetings, Alpha. In these recent times, you have proven yourself most capable, and you are perhaps some of the most skilled pilots we have ever seen. And now that the fate of Denim has become particularly uncertain, the PBN has need of you once again. 
Terran and Vajaban forces, united by a common foe, are pushing the hammer of life back on all fronts. Major staging points have been reclaimed and the majority of the guerrillas have retreated to the cover of the Demeter field. The Directorate considers this the ideal time to strike at their headquarters and snuff out the hammer of life forever, at least in Demir. As one of our top wings, Alpha, you shall be part of the initial strike force that shall destroy the Abelisk installation. The Central Command, Barracks and Supply Station of the Hammer of Light, the Abelisk installation is a prime target that must be destroyed. After much discussion amongst Admiral Amantep, Admiral Amutef and Commodore Cooper, it has been decided that the Actian will lead the attack on Abelisk Station. You will assist in escorting the Commodore and destroying the Abelisk. What about that destroyer? Thanks to Alpha One's diligence in a previous operation for the Security Directorate, we have located a number of Segment Hybrid bombers still under construction at the Abelisk base. The Turans will undertake the mission to capture these ships, for study and use by the PVN. Alpha, you will assist them in this endeavor, should they require help. Once the obelisk has been destroyed, the Actian will depart and we will move on to the second phase of the operation, the Crusader. Dealing with a destroyer of this magnitude will require a lot of firepower, and currently we lack the specialist anti-destroyer weaponry that the Turans possess and used against the Sheep and Lucifer. Thus, the Guardian herself will step in to destroy the Crusader and deal the final blow to the Hammer of Light. Naturally, you must protect the Guardian with your lives. We cannot afford to lose the lives of Border, nor the flagship of the 13th Battle Group. Also, we cannot allow the Crusader to escape. This war must end here and now. The Hammer of Light cannot be allowed to remarshal their forces and have a second chance of destroying us. The welfare of Deneb itself relies upon it. Save Judah, Alpha. Much fortune. Thank you, sir. Primary objective is destroy the obelisk and destroy the crusader. The Amun bombers. Tsunamis and fangs. The banshees and Prometheus cannons. Alright. Seems good. Let's hit it. Alright, I don't know what to be out of it, so I take some chunks out of the battery. Data, you provide cover. Start, magnificent, getting the firing positions around the installation now. Commodore, this is the Admiral. The Guardian is priming their engines and preparing for combat. We'll jump and watch the installation has fallen. What's that star flash? Okay, I got you, Admiral. Come on, people. Put this baby to bed. Oh, is that my turret? This is it. I think it's my turret. Now, at last, we extract vengeance and look. Our losses shall be avenged. I agree with facing seven on the boat to part the frontier. I assure you this. Do not let them fight. Fight with them. As we cut out this concerned infection and gas arms. Okay, we got hostiles. You guys can handle this? Haven't we always? I believe we shall. Right after I finish this turret. Where's the pill from? Laura, this is Peter Wing. Escorting special task force to capture the segment bombers. Go ahead, Data. Alpha, Data, keep an eye on them. Pilgrim. Oh, well, there it goes.
Mr. Well Cooper just powered up and are headed right at it. Okay, the outburst is half strength. Everybody, keep the pressure up. Let's take these bastards down. What the hell is shooting me? Ah, you are shooting me. Well, that's unacceptable. Get in there, get in there. Okay, good hit. We need to kill these cruisers to keep them off the uh, off the Terrans. Oh crap! This dude's gonna ram me. All right, we need to. Lock, lock, lock.
Alright, he's got no weapons left. Last remaining target is the destroyer. Oh man, Theta One. All ships, this is the Guardian. We are engaging the Crusader. Akia, you may return to base. Wouldn't it be better, be better to all engage the Crusader? Ah, we have enemy fighters now. The Crusader is taking heavy damage. That's lit up support. I don't know, maybe it's not worth waiting on one more bomb. There we go. Alright, let's get over there and put paid to this nonsense once and for all. Oh, good job taking out the weapons, everybody. I don't think there are any left facing the uh, Guardian. No enemy bombers. Uh, my turret's gotten close. Uh, cl gotten close enough to my turret thing it's time to open up. Does my turret have a banshee in it. That's what that weapons fire looks like. Of life. Traitors, in fact, 
of the Vegetan people. My nav is destroyed. You oversimplify the situation, so that you may indulge in your frenzied vengeance taking without remorse or hesitation. Not wrong in itself, but not understanding that which created the Hammer of Light and its anti Terran agenda will prevent you from instituting changes that will prevent any such uprising from happening ever again. I doubt. The Hammer of Light will be destroyed, its supporters killed or dispersed. That will solve the problem. I expect a century free from racial hatred from you, then, Alpha 3. I shall hold you to your predictions. <laughs> All right, well, let's just jump then. Major Dan's of the 13th Battle Group, hear me. It has been a long time coming, but finally. Today. Dead the Bazaars once again. The Hammer of Light here has been soundly defeated. The PVN reigns supreme. But it has not been without hardship. Our triumph was won with blood, both that of the enemy and of our friends. We mourn still the loss of the Iron Clut. Many 13th Battle Group cruisers were lost to the predations of the Hammer of Light. Countless fighters have been destroyed in this senseless conflict. Many lives have been lost. But nevertheless, we are victorious, and thanks to our diligence and persistence. I would like to express my gratitude to Commodore Cooper, for all that he has done for us, and Admiral Amutef, without whom we would surely all have perished. And there are others. Officer Kafer who coordinated early defenses against the guerrillas, and Director Verity, whose plans and machinations were invaluable in assuring our victory. But you, Alpha Wing, I have been watching you with much interest, these past few weeks. I understand now why Mutef wished you to see action here, in Denver. Under pressure, you have flowered and grown, and I recognize that you were instrumental in our success. In truth, you have done more for defeating the Hammer of Light than many others combined. My thanks to you. And so, for your exceptional service to the Parliamentary Vajudan Empire, you are hereby inducted into the Imperial Order of Vajuda. Congratulations, pilot. You are a hero. Alright, no recommendations. The Sudan Alliance this is supposed to be the Imperial Order of Vasuda. I don't know why it... Eh. Oh well. Statistics, four total kills of four assists, one Anubis, two Ottens, and one sentry gun and one Ox class sentry gun. Bring our all-time total to 186 with 34 assists. So this was the Hammer Falls, the 15th and from the sound of it final mission of uh, Shrouding the Light for the Free Space Port here on Paladin Gaming. I don't actually know that this is the final mission. I thought I remembered the description saying it had more missions than this, but maybe it was also counting Shrouding the Light Origins. Um, so this is Paladin Gaming signing off.